Welcome to Grayon Mat. We are to solve this problem. We have this triangle ABC, and this angle at A is divided into two parts. One is x, and the other is 15 degrees. And while this angle at D formed by uh, the segments, the two segments AD and CD, the angle is uh, 45 degrees. And uh, this uh, segment AD. So it bisects this uh, segment BC into two equal parts, and uh, we are required to find the value of angle X. Okay, so first thing that we may do is we can actually see that this angle here at B is actually a part of 45 so by exterior angle theorem so the sum of this angle at b and this 15 degree angle should be equal to the exterior angle 45 degrees the two remote angles so let's call this angle b so angle b plus 15 degrees the sum of this is equal to the exterior angle 45 degrees so 45 degrees so angle b is equal to 45 degrees minus 15 degrees which gives us uh, equal to angle b being equal to 30 degrees okay so next thing is we draw a line from this point d such that we can form an isosceles triangle so that should have the same measure the length should be the same of db so d like this db and the and since we form it to be an isosceles then therefore this should be also 30 degrees okay so next is uh, we can label this uh, two congruent sides so cd and db as a and this as a and if that db is a then this should be also a this length so let us write here e point e and therefore next we should find this length eb because we are already we have this given uh, a and a and of course since this is an isosceles so this angle should be uh, 180 degrees minus 30 minus 30 so it gives us 120 degrees so this should be 120 degrees because given already are the two angles that are uh, congruent okay so looking for the value of eb so we can find it using the cosine law so square root of uh, a square the square of the the sum of the squares of the two sides a and a then you need to subtract 2 times a times a times cosine of the included angle which is 120 degrees so eb equal to the square root of we simplify this 2a square minus 2a square times uh, negative one half for the value of cosine of 120 so eb is equal to the square root of this uh, 2a square then we cancel this and this becomes positive and we cancel this 2 and 2 so this becomes a square so simplifying we have eb is equal to uh, square root of 3a square and uh, if we get the square root so we can take out this a square because it is a perfect square outside take out outside and it becomes a and 3 remains inside the radical sign so eb is equal to a square root of 3 okay so next is we consider this small angle here so this small angle here is actually 
let's call this uh, y so as you can see it should be it forms a straight line with this 45 degree angle and this 120 degree angle so plus y so the total is of course 184 a straight line so y plus 45 degrees plus 120 is equal to 180 and if you subtract this so y is equal to 180 minus 45 minus 120 this gives us an angle of 15 degrees Okay, so notice that the angle of y is already uh, 15 degrees. So this is uh, 15 degrees. 15. Notice that it is the same measure as this angle at A. I mean the part of angle A, portion of angle A. And therefore, if the two angles are actually congruent, then the sides opposite to it should be equal so if this is 15 degrees and this is a the opposite then for this uh, angle at d then this should have also a measurement of a so ae this is actually the triangle aed so uh, and also an isosceles triangle okay so next is uh we need to get the value of this AC. So, AC is the opposite of this angle at B, which is 30 degrees. So, and the sides are actually A, I mean AB and uh, BC. So, AB is this length, the sum of these two, A plus A squared of 3. And for BC, this A plus A. So, that is 2A. So, we have already the two sides in an included angle and we are uh, left to find this uh, side ac so using cosine law so we have ac is equal to the square root of this uh, uh, a 2a squared plus a plus a square root of 3 squared minus 2 times 2a times a plus a square root of 3 times cosine of 30. Okay, so next is we simplify, of course. So ac is equal to the square root of this. Uh, 4a square and we square this uh, binomial so we have a square plus uh, 2 times uh, a square square root of 3 2 a square square root of 3 plus 3 a square minus 2 times 2 a times a plus a square root of 3 times cosine 30 is uh, square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so simplifying further, we have ac is equal to this uh, should be 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So 8a squared. So plus 2a squared square root of 3 then we cancel this and uh, we have uh, multiplying this so 2a minus 2a this 2a squared times square root of 3 so because you need to multiply this also and again this 2a times uh, uh, 2a times a square root of 3 gives you, but this is a negative. So negative 2a square times square root of 3 times square root of 3. It gives you 6 
So negative 6a square. Okay, so this ac is equal to, we can cancel this. Uh, 2a squared square root of 3 and this one. And uh, this a, 8 minus, we combine like terms, so 8 minus 6 is 2. So 2a squared. And if we get the square root of this, so we just simply need to put this a outside the radical sign because it is a perfect square. And the 2 inside the radical sign remains. So ac is equal to a square root of 2. Okay, so for our next step is we use the law of sine. So for this particular triangle, so ACD, so we need to get, since we need to get the value of x, so we need to use this CD because this is opposite of x. And this uh, a square root of 2 opposite of 45 degrees. So we have here uh, a over uh, sine x, so the opposite angle is x, is equal to a square root of 2. The opposite is sine 45 degrees. Okay, so we can cancel this a and a. And this, uh, okay, so we just need to cross multiply. So sine x is equal to this uh, sine 45 degrees divided by square root of 2. So you put this on the here and here and interchange. So, but sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. So, replace this square root of 2 over 2 and copy this square root of 2 on the denominator. So, this cancels out. So, it gives us a value of sine x to be equal to 1 half. And if we get the arc sine of x, so x is equal to, I mean, arc sine of 1 half, so x is equal to arc sine 1 half. This gives us the value of x to be 30 degrees. And that is our answer. Okay, so for our second method is, we consider this angle at D to be supplementary of this angle, this 45. So this will be 135 degrees. And uh, again, by using exterior angle theorem. So this angle is a 135 minus x because the total should be 135. Because these are the two remote angles. So the total is this, 135. So, and next is we also consider this angle. So, this is uh, 135. This is 180 minus 135 minus 15 so this gives you 30 degrees okay so next is we use uh, i mean we label this as k this side ad and we use sine law so sine law for these two triangles this triangle adb and triangle acd okay so for triangle acd so A, C, D. So K over sine of 1, 3, 5 minus X is equal to uh, A over uh, sine X 
Okay, so notice that A is opposite X. Okay, so we take the ratio of A over K. So A over K is equal to sine X over sine 135 minus X. Okay, so next is we consider the triangle ADB. So we have to get the ratio of Let's we have this A over sine 15. So A over sine 15 because this A is opposite this 15 degree angle and K is, is, it is equal to the ratio of this other side over the opposite angle, the sine of the opposite angle, which is 30 degrees. So sine 30 degrees. So, getting also the ratio of A over K, so sine 15 over sine of 30. Okay, so next is uh, we have equated the two ratio because they are equal. A over K equals A over K. So, this is equal to this. And I have just inverted it. So, we put this... Uh, the denominator and the numerator okay so for the both sides so left and right so next is we use uh, the sign uh, sum of our difference of angles for sign on the numerator on the left hand side so we have sine uh, 135 and cosine x and no change in sign so and Cosine one three five sine x all over sine x and it is equal to sine or oh, we just copy sine thirty over sine fifteen. Okay, so next is we break this part. So this portion it is and uh, since uh, cosine x is cotangent cosine x over sine x so we just need to make this a tangent by putting it on the denominator so it will be the, just the same thing so sine 135 over tangent of x is equal to if you divide this by sine x Cosine 135 times sine x over sine x. This gives you uh, the sine x cancels out and remains cosine 135. So negative cosine 135 is equal to sine of 30 over sine 15 degrees. Okay, so next is we continue from here. So we have here uh, to put this negative, I mean this negative cosine of 135 to the right hand side. So we have uh, is equal to sine 30 divided by sine 15. So plus cosine 135. So we just simply repeat this or copy this sine 135 over tangent x and we simplify the right hand side so we have the LCD is sine 15 and this becomes sine 30 we just copy then we multiply this sine 15 by cosine 135 so cosine 135 times sine 15 okay and uh, next is uh, just copy this sine 135 over tangent x okay so next is we cross multiply so uh, sine 135 times sine 15 
all over sine 30 plus cosine 135 times sine 15 is equal to tangent x. Okay, so next is we replace the values of this. So tangent x is equal to sine 135 is uh, square root of 2 over 2. And this sine 15 is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. Okay. All over 1 half. But 1 half can be written as square root of 2 over 2 squared. So square root of 2 over 2 squared. Plus, this cosine 135 is negative square root of 2 over 2 times uh, square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4 for sine 15 again. Okay, so, next is we factor out this on the denominator d square root of 2 over 2. Inside remains square root of 2 over 2. Then minus because minus remains so square root of 6 minus 2 I minus the square root of 2 over 4 and we just copy the numerator and copy this over 4 so we can cancel this. Okay. And we cancel this 4 and 4. And the numerator and the denominator. And we simplify this by combining like terms. So, And we first copy of course the numerator. So tangent x is equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2. All over this. Uh, square root of, of let's say let's say that this is negative square root of six then plus three square root of two and we cancel this four and four and the numerator and the denominator and we simplify this by combining like terms so and we first copy, of course, the numerator. So tangent x is equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over this uh, square root of, of, let's say, let's say that this is negative square root of 6, then plus 3 square root of 2. Okay, so next is we can factor out the square root of 2. So for the numerator, it becomes square root of 2 times square root of 3 minus 1. All over, we factor out the square root of 2. So we have negative square root of 6 divided by square root of 2. So that becomes... Uh, Square root of 3 but negative and plus 3 and we put the square root of 2 here so we can cancel this out so tangent x is equal to square root of 3 minus 1 all over 3 minus square root of 3 okay so next is we rationalize by multiplying this by uh, 3 plus square root of 3 so this is this should be 3 3 plus square root of 3 and 3 plus square root of 3 so, 
by combining this we have this is equal to uh, tangent of x is equal to 3 square root of 3 then minus 3 then uh, plus 3 then uh, minus square root of 3 all over this denominator so this will be the difference of two squares so this will be 9 minus 3 so this cancels out and this becomes 2 square root of 3 over 6 or it is equal also we can cancel this it's equal to square root of 3 this becomes 3 so square root of 3 over 3 so we have the value of tangent x to be square root of 3 over 3 okay so now for the final step so that we know that the tangent of x is equal to square root of 3 over 3 and therefore we should get the arc tangent of this on the right hand side so we have x is equal to arc tangent square root of 3 over 3 which gives us the value of x to be 30 degrees and that is our answer for the second method so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solutions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.